Guys, we're going to give this little spot here on Bandera and Leon Creek. Um, it's right by this bar. I don't know exactly the name of the bar, but in the apartment complex. So I wanted, I tried this about a month ago when it was really after a big rain and um, it was really high and murky and just not very good fishing conditions. So we're going to try it again today see how it is we have a little since we're doing some exploring and trying to see if there's fish in here we're going with spinners and small soft plastics so kind of finessey stuff nothing too crazy but um spinners are pretty good at least for me they work pretty well exploring and kind of seeing what's in the water if there's fish or not because pretty much everything likes to bite them this is really a, a nice little stretch of water from what I remember seeing it one day when it was high, but who knows. But I did see a lot of line hanging and some other stuff, so. Um, there's a lot of good covering structure in here. I mean, there's line right there. There is. There's bass in here. Yep, just seen one, one swam by, about a 10 incher. All right guys, we're gonna get ready to do our little weightless Texas rig here with our little zoom green with a little bit of flake in it, a finesse worm with a two-aught, like traditional worm hook, which is very low profile, very finesse Oh, gotta get it in there right. Oh, it's swimming crazy. There we go. There we go. Got one. Little bass. <laughs> but if they're in here this size, that means that they're probably from a hatch, unless they got washed down from upstream. Either way, that's um, encouraging. All right, guys, so we're back at the Leon Creek on Bandera. We have a little Ned rig and we have a little crankbait tonight. I got some other little Ned riggy type stuff. This is a Guggen mudworm, is what it's called. Um, we're gonna we came over here a few days ago and got a little bit of footage and come to find out there's some bass and some fish in this little pond so we're gonna kind of come up and finish up our get a little bit more familiarity with it this is the area where we've seen the most bass, most larger bass, like 10 inches. I'm not talking anything huge. The biggest one we've seen that day was probably maybe a pound. And that's, you know, guessing relatively accurate. So, but um, we've seen most of them were up in here. There we go. <laughs> Little bass. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice. There we go. A little bit nicer. On our 
our little Ned rig. I'm gonna get you, little dude. <clears throat> Sorry, little dude, for the letting you fall like that. All right, guys, my camera's too hot, but we caught another one. So my camera was shutting off, but this is a this is a pretty good one for this little part. Yeah, so about a half a pound maybe, but um, that's probably. The biggest one I've caught out of here, so. There we go. There's some. There we go. <laughs> the little crankbait is doing pretty well. It's a pretty one. Nice little bluegill. Down here and try to do something. We have a little Z-Man finesse bullet with a little Z-Man TRD ticklers on here this is the blue one um it's a really effective and efficient uh, type of way to fish for me anyway i love it because you can cover a lot of water if you want to it casts like a dream it's really really weedless and the z-mans hold up start off here first Sun's at a kind of a rough angle for us. There's a lot of fish right there. A lot of fish right there. Little guys, but oh damn, we got one. Nice. First cast. Pretty nice one too. About a pound. Maybe well, three quarters. Yeah. There's a little evening bite here. <laughs> and I haven't had a chance to fish here in the morning or really throughout the day too much, but long drop for them. But yeah, that's one. That's a nice one, too. Oh, that can't be a fish. Oh, is it? Is it? Yeah, it's a turtle, I think. Oh, no. Guys. This is a nice bass. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice one here. About two pounds. All right. Let's uh, try to get this guy in. There we go. Yep, what a two pounder here. Yep, very nice. Yep. Pretty decent. Kind of try to let him go kind of gingerly. We just threw it kind of over yonder. Ugh. I didn't expect him. That's now that's the biggest fish I've caught in here. Is this little part of Leon Creek here, um, right by Bandera Road? Caught him on our little TRD. Yeah, I didn't expect that. That was pretty good catch right there. 
Yep, so that's definitely the biggest one I've caught. And that was a legit two pounder.